But we have the opportunity first to visit some of the residents of both the Little Sisters of the Poor, Jean Jugan residents, and Regina Cleary residents for senior priests of the Archdiocese of Boston. We wanted to get some of their thoughts on aging, and for this particular segment, we asked residents how they stay spiritually active in their retirement years. So let's find out what they had to say. Now I stay spiritually active and have the Mass. I, I continue to work on the weekends. Uh, I go down to uh, Situate and have Mass down there. And then, uh, you know, here we have Mass. And, uh, I do a lot of uh, reading, meditation, uh, and, um, you know, the, the Gospels seem to mean uh, a lot more when you, uh, from experience of life. Well, we have, we have the chaplet and the rosary every afternoon, and then they have holy hours. And we have like a triduum during the year, three days there, that usually some priest will come in for it. I go to the uh, Stations of the Cross at 2 o'clock or 2.30 every day. I say, I say my daily prayers, say the rosary, you know, and I go between the Mass. And then there are times when I have appointments, and, um, and it, would, it would coincide with, with the Mass here. And so I would have TV Mass, and that is another bless great blessing. So you could have TV Mass at 9.30 and the rosary afterwards, and then you have done your duty for the, for the day, and then you can go. Oh, the wonderful thing. I get up every morning before 5 o'clock, and I pray right there um, in my bedroom. One, one sister came into my room. She was newish, and she said, oh, she says, this looks like a chapel in here. <laughs> you know? I like having, you know, religious pictures up on the wall. Okay, for instance, now we have a group of handicapped people that come once a month here. And in the interim, we collect items that we know would be saleable to help these people. And it's very, very, oh, how do I want to put it? It's very humbling when you see these people in the condition that they're in, and you can always say, but for the grace of God go I. We never know what tomorrow's going to bring. So 